Hi, I want to present you my latest drawing. So here is the first verse of Bereshit, which means in the beginning, later translated and known as Genesis. So Bereshit bara Elohim et Hashamayim ve'et Haaretz. So in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. On the top left, we have the tetragrammaton. Yud He Vav He, which reflects the higher and the lower male and female aspects of the infinite divine force in us, within the individual. If you want, you may call it God. So, these are the unseen energies, later on personified by the ancient cultures all over the world. The pronunciations of Yod He Vav He is, is lost in time, no one actually knows how to pronounce it. Basically, all of the symbols in this drawing are inspired from the Kabbalah, which uh, simply means a tradition or transmission or received revelation associated with two works, the Sefer Yetzira and the Sohar. Um, the circle has the four basic elements, air, fire, water and earth. Air means the thought or the idea, the concept, fire means action and the will. Water represents emotion impregnated into the action. And finally, the earth uh, is the result in the world of manifestation. So we also have the four corresponding archangels, Raphael, air, uh, Gabriel, water, Michael, fire and Uriel, earth. So, um, this big uh, geometrical shape is basically the letter uh, Yud, <laughs> which contains um, the different layers of creation, different directions of our 3D world. Above, below, uh, Zenit, Nadir, East, where the sun rises, South, West and North. So, we have the three mother letters. Uh, it's Shin, fire, Mem, water, and um, Aleph, it's air. So it's Esh, Maim, Avir. Uh, in the middle, it's the first letter, letter Aleph, the divine aspect of God, um, something hidden from us. And the letter um, Ayin, which is the aspect of manifestation in the material world. On the left side, uh, we have the seven double letters, refer to the seven ancient planets and the sevenfold divisions of time. So, the, the seven forms of energy which govern our material world. The seven heavens, the seven days of creation, right? So, but also the seven days of the week and the gates of the soul, the orifices of perception in man. Here we have the seven ray star. Yeah, so this is these are verses from Bereshit, from Genesis. <laughs> okay, on the right side we have the 12 simple letters of the Hebrew alphabet are referred to the month, to the zodiac signs and the human organs. They are the foundations of these 12 properties, sight, hearing, smell, speech, taste, sexual love, work, movement, anger, mirth, imagination and sleep. Above we have the six ray star known as the Star of David. Actually, this symbol is far more older than we think. It's seen in different ancient cultures throughout antiquity and Indian temples as well. On the right we have the name uh, Elohim. It's a plural form representing the, the gods. Okay. A uh, few people know that the ancient Semitic tribes were henotheists. So, henotheism meaning they recognized more gods or deities, but they choose to praise and to follow only one of them. So, later on it became a monotheistic religion. Uh, the four circles, um, on the top we have the letter Yud again, representing the divine light of God reflected and manifested upon the sun which is reflected upon the moon, okay, which is reflected upon the earth. Basically, these are the four sephirots of the middle pillar from the tree of life, which you can see here, okay. 
So the tree of life has seen overlapped on the human body. You can see each sephiroth corresponding to each part of the human body. And uh, here we have the four worlds. Um, Atzilut, the archetypal world. Bria, creative world. Um, Yatsira, the formative world. And Asiya, the material world. Here it's the big Yud. Hey, Vav, Hey. And this is my signature. <laughs> I hope you liked it.